Hello, I went to the doctor the other day and found out I had to take medication by injection and so the nurse taught me what to do and I just thought, you know, a number of people have asked me about it and say, doesn't that hurt? Isn't that a problem? Aren't you scared? Weren't you scared when you did that? And I said, well, yes and no. Uh, but after the first time, it wasn't a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just share what I learned from the nurse, okay? Now, injectables have to be kept sterile and so most of the bottles you'll find large or small will come with a metal or a plastic retaining rim and then a rubber dam on the top that rubber dam is where the needle pokes in to get the fluid out okay and as long as that's intact then the container is sterile now also when you get your container from the pharmacy if there's no label on it something went wrong so go back to the pharmacy and have them put a label on it because you always want to check to make sure it's your name and it's your medicine okay so with that uh, understanding uh, typically people will use bottles like this but I've got a bottle of sterile saline solution to use and understand that this is just for information purposes it's not intended to diagnose treat or tell you that you've got a medical problem or to even teach you how to inject yourself this is just to show what I've learned uh, from my nurse because I had to do some subcutaneous injections meaning under the skin but let me explain to you how the process works if you look at the bottle inside is atmosphere or air and when you take a needle and poke into there and take out fluid the atmosphere is going to change so what you want to do is keep the atmosphere balanced inside of the container so if you're going to take out 50 units you'll need to put in 50 units of atmosphere first all right so in my case I do 15 units one five now this needle does 10 20 30 40 and so on so I would have to then go in between the 10 and the 20 and that is 15 you always need to make sure you're working with a sterile situation so I have an alcohol swab here I clean the top of the bottle make sure I clean it well I've already washed my hands to make sure my hands are clean okay because you want to make sure that you stay clean and sterile. I filled the needle up to the 15 point with air. I take off the cap. When it's a fresh needle, it's got a bottom cap on it also. Once you remove that bottom cap, it means that the needle has been used. Never put the bottom cap back on because you can't use these twice. Now, what I do is I take the needle. In the center of the, the rubber dam is a target. It's a round circle and you're going to just, or I'm just going to poke directly into that, bam, I put in the atmosphere, I now I'm going to turn this upside down, be careful that you don't let the needle bend like that because then it's not going to work too well when you go to give yourself an injection. I then use my finger and my thumbs and I pull down and it lets the fluid fill into the needle. You got to go a little slow, okay, you know, sometimes people say, well, what if bubbles form inside of there? What the nurse told me is bubbles aren't as critical when you're going under the skin, but if you're going into a blood vein or a blood vessel, bubbles are very critical to avoid. But under the skin, she said that it's not as much of an issue, so I just don't worry about it unless there's really big ones. Okay, so I've got this filled to 15. I pull out the needle. See, it's still holding the fluid in now the needles ready for me to inject and the injection part is going to be in part two of the video so with the video of the same name go watch part two because this one is over